Right, so it's a great idea to give a bath, especially when the dogs get dirty, to give them a, a shower, really. And there, and there, you see, look, I found a tick in here. I don't know whether you can see it here. So I'm going to put that out of the way, even though they've had their uh, front line or whatever. They get they, these things get everywhere. So I'm going to put it down the drain. And my father, who is sort of the old style vet, because sadly he's dead and gone now, he would he used to hose the animals down in the garden. And I suppose he was used to farm animals and all that type of thing. But Barclay gets treated with a bit more delicate respect, don't you, Barclay? And I'm checking here, don't you? Sort of lukewarm water for doggies, don't, don't, Barclay. So now, and I'm going to just do under here, take his collar off, do his ears. Do his paws. Sometimes I take them to be clipped by a professional clipper, but I, I have done a clipping course myself. But at the moment, because I'm busy with other things, I'd rather just wash them every so often and just take him along to be clipped at a at a grooming. Down. So this is and this is nice because it makes him feel a bit. Okay, okay, come here, come here, come on, come on, good boy, good boy. Now Shih Tzus have a problem as well because they've got those flat faces. They can actually drown, and so they have to be when they're washed. They have to be washed so that water doesn't go back down their nose because their their noses are so flat. Yes, it means that they can actually, um, the water can go down the nose, into the lungs. So, there we are. Is that better? And then I will give him a little bit of a rub down, and he will feel much, much happier. Ah! Okay. And, yeah. And... Now I'm going to get him, get him a towel. I'm going to get him a towel now. And dry his face a little bit. And I might give him a little bit of a hair dry later. They're meant to really have the hair dried because it's better for the skin. And usually I use quite a soft shampoo. Either a pH regulator or one with an aloe vera in it, something or medicated. It just really, because tissues have a problem with um, very, very dry, sensitive skin. So it's, I find one normally that just if I find it suits him, I let her carry on using it. The other thing I can do is put a little bit of conditioner on his tail. which I was given as a bit of a tip by a, by a lady who does a lot of dog shows. Oh, yeah. And she said, just put a little bit of conditioner on the tail and then rinse it off. And it just makes it, gives it a little bit more softness. Doesn't it, Barclay? So we'll do that, rinse it off, and then you're all set, aren't you? There we are. There we are. Come on then. That's it. There. All right. There. 
Okay, and that's finished.